Yep. I thought it was going to be a normal day until something happened. I screamed. The day was July 27th, 2019. 2019. My friend Molly and I had had a sleepover the night before. We tiptoed down, downstairs to grab a bite to eat. As I poured the cold milk out of the jug into my bowl of cereal, Molly sleeping had woken up and came downstairs. It was a Friday, so after we had all finished eating and got dressed, we talked about birds and wrote an essay on what we talked about. After I finished writing, I saw Molly sitting, screaming and jumping on the couch. Their mom had had enough of their madness, so she sent them outside, including Molly and I. We all went out on the trampoline, pondering the things we could do. We all agreed on the game, the game Dead Man, but nobody wanted to eat, to get. So I shouted, last one over the fence is Dead Man. Me, not all of aware what was about to happen, I jumped off the trampoline, sprinting right and left. I rushed as I climbed up the fence. At that second, I felt the summer breeze as I jumped. It felt like I was flying for a second, and then, thump, I screamed. I saw my wrist, it was totally out of place. <laughs> all I could see was Molly sitting, screaming. I was just there, sitting in shock, but I started to laugh because I did not want to cry. Molly's mom came over and picked me up and took me to the car. On the way, I was trying to take my mind off of it, but I just couldn't because the pain just kept on getting worse and worse. Once we arrived at the emergency room, I gently laid my head back on the pillow and turned on a movie. That's when my parents entered the room and my mom stepped forward and hugged me. I couldn't hold it back any longer and I started to cry. After waiting three hours for the doctor, he finally came in and did, and did the surgery to put my wrist back into place. I woke up after being on medicine and was just <laughs> smiling because the medicine made me a little cuckoo. <laughs> Around 2 a.m., my mom drove Molly and I back to my house, and once I hit the couch, I passed out. In conclusion, I had to wear a cast for six weeks. It was fun because everyone was signing my cast, but the nice thing was to finally get it off. <laughs> but in the end, being dead man would have been a lot better than having a broken arm. Thank you. Woo! Stay right there! Oh, man! You rocked it, girl! Thank you for going first. All right, let's hear some positive feedback. In the middle of the positive, positive feedback, I'll take one or two constructive criticism. We'll hand. go back to positive. I'm raising my hand. Positive. I like how you used all the descriptive words, and especially, like, um... In the beginning, when you said I poured the <laughs> cold milk into my bowl, and uh, like in the beginning, when you said I screamed, yes, and her word choices like pondered, and yeah. the mom had enough of that madness. Yeah, that was really fun descriptive language. Go ahead. Yeah, um, you also had like really good eye contact. Like, yeah. I hardly saw you look at the paper, and um, she knew it. Yeah, she knew by heart. Yeah, what? she knew by heart. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and also like the the hmm, big words and the hand gestures. You actually use the hand gestures. Hand gestures, yes. Clara. Um, I liked the hook. That was I, that was really interesting, that hook. Um, and good eye contact. Great, good even you had it. I know she specifically looked at you guys. Before we continue with our positive, does anybody have one or two things that Juju might want to work on? It's hard because she did such a great job. Can you think of anything? Maybe speaking a little louder. Maybe speaking a little louder. Yes. And I felt like when you listened to your voice telling the story, at one point you were a little clippy, and then you kind of got into your groove when you were telling the story. So maybe just watching that. It's probably since you first got up here. Let's get back to our positive feedback. Go ahead, Caitlin. Look at those hands going up. Caitlin. Um, I really liked your hook, like Claire said. Yeah. And also I think you had a great tone in your voice mm -hmm. when you were telling the story. Yes, when she told that story, the emotion came out, right? And she was telling it. <laughs> McKinnon and Isaac. Um, the description <laughs> where, where you're in the backyard with the breeze. Yes. And, and you broke your wrist. What about, what? You knew where it was from. <laughs> oh, see? Thump. Thump. I think I made a face in my... <laughs> yeah, you did. I, I was like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. Thank you, McKinnon. Anything else? <laughs> I the hook is awesome. I actually have two things. Oh, no. I would say she uh she used very descriptive words like ponder yeah. and stuff. Um also that was a very smooth story. It didn't just like quick 
quickly go from one theme to another. It kind of eased itself into one theme to another. Excellent feedback. I wrote something like that too that just really was chronological and you just felt like you were walking through the day with her through that morning. Zeekers. <laughs> um, so what Rose was saying about the beginning, it's very descriptive. I just really like it. Yeah. Yeah, the descriptive <coughs> of words. And um, I can relate to laughing when you're like hurting. Oh. Like every time I've like, like, I'm bleeding, yeah. or like, I've got like, a, I just once got it, um, in serious pain, I've got like a horrible ro road burn on like my face, and I just started laughing, and my friends were like, you <laughs> okay? You're like, well, I can either freak out or laugh, I'm gonna go with the laughing right now. He's delirious. Yeah. I was laughing yeah. and crying. David. Uh, so, I was thinking, okay, so the people are good in the show, and lots of descriptive words. Lots of descriptive words. Right. Yes, I agree. With you. And she kind of came back to it at the end, which I thought was so good. I have a clue we're missing. Adam, did you go? Uh, it was like what everybody said. It was very descriptive, like just tiptoe and like the year and like, you know, stuff like that. You could pack, picture it. So by Adam being specific, he had similar things that y'all said about but being specific, <coughs> bless you, you added more detail for her. So that, don't don't feel like what you have to say is not valuable. Gabe, you went, right? Uh, no. Okay, go ahead. Um, <coughs> bless you. I'd, I'd say the, um, I, uh, shoot, I just had it. Okay. Um, I just, I really like the hand gestures when, um, mm -hmm. yeah, the cuckoo. Yeah. And, uh, I forgot what the other hand gesture was. She did, she did this too. She kind of, when she was saying, Everybody run, oh, yeah. last one or something, whatever. When she was acting out the calling, I wrote it down here, I can't read my handwriting, but she actually <laughs> did like this, like what you yelled at everybody, last one is a dead man or whatever. Yeah. And then also, I thought, when you said you've been holding back your tears, when your mom hugged you, you couldn't hold them back any longer. I mean, that felt so mean. I think Zeke, that probably touched you too. I can just so picture you've been strong for so long, and then, rah, just let it go. And then she kind of had that nice resolution and wrapped it up by having this cast, Getting it signed, but being glad to get it off. One more snap around. Excellent job. Way to go, Juju. Way to go. Awesome.